times they are a changing sang bob dylan in 1964 that holds true in today's iran vastly different from what it was just a few years ago the nuclear deal with the west and the lifting of sanctions have broken down boundaries and as is the case everywhere in the world artists are reflecting the change especially in capital tehran where the gallery owners and artists alike say the air is freer than it's been in a long time expat artists are showing on home turf iran-based artists have survived harsh times and risen to global prominence Miami chandani reports on iran's booming contemporary art scene تو این نمایش صد در صد منتها شکل شکل خیلی سطحی فکر می کنم نداره یعنی فوری ما شاید نتونیم اینو با با مسائل اجتماعی مون تطبیق بدیم ولی همین مکعبایی که من کار کردم Mohammad Hossein Imad is one of Iran's most well-known sculptors. His latest work in wood is being showcased at Tehran's prominent Asar Gallery that was set up 17 years ago. Both the gallery and the artist have survived harsh political times and severe restrictions to rise to international prominence. You can show nudity, you can show arts with very strong political accent, of course you can show that. but uh, it's become better nowadays it's become better i don't know really what what has changed but you can feel it in the air artists are a mirror of their times the societies they live in and the politics they are surrounded by no matter which part of the world they live in and iran is of course no different small new galleries have been cropping up every day in tehran's downtown cultural hub reflecting the desires of a society governed by rigid religious constructs to push boundaries down the road at the aran gallery hura zarbaf a post revolution child unlike imad is holding her first solo exhibition inspired by her grandmother's life in 20th century iran no matter how uh, crazy it's happening outside there is also always this you know inner self uh, in seclusion and having to deal with daily routine mundanes and um it's always going to remain the same Nazila Noy Bashari who runs Iran says her family thought she was crazy to open a gallery during the previous Ahmadinejad regime Nothing in Iran is unpolitical I would say because politics is our life there's simple pieces that you'd look at and you think no but then yes everyone in Iranian civil society is very brave to rise above their own uh, limitations and limitations that society or the government um, creates but it's a choice at the end of the day you can go in, into the street and shout or you can try and um, be critical to try to change things uh, little by little Orkide Darudi at the newly opened Gallery O is showing paintings by Berlin-based Iranian expat Ali Nasser, one of Iran's biggest names in the international art world. In his previous work you could see a lot more violence, you could see um, a lot that could be more um, closely um, related to Iran. Iran today is significantly different from what it was even two years ago. The government has changed, a nuclear deal with the West has allowed more travel to and from the country, and the lifting of sanctions is opening up the economy. It's sort of like this dark clouds have lifted off and uh, we can look into future now. I'm very optimistic in general because I need to be. <laughs> With Arif Radhu, Miami Chandani, NDTV.